Version 2.2 is a pretty major release and I thought I'd create a video showing how to update to version 2.2 from a prior release. In version 2.2 we changed a lot of the inventory related classes and because of this there are some manual changes required in order to get back up and running. We made these changes because some of the uh, inventory base classes are shared between the character controller and our new inventory system asset. And if you're interested in this inventory system asset, I'll put a link to it in the description. As of this recording, it's not released yet, but hopefully soon. So you can see here, I have a pretty basic scene set up. I have a pistol as a default loadout, and then I can uh, switch between first and third person, and then go pick up some pistol. I can do everything you'd expect, such as firing and reloading. For this video, or for version 2.2, um, this video is applicable towards any character controller variant. So right now I'm using the ultimate character controller, but it doesn't matter which variant you're using, the same steps apply. So let's go ahead and get out of this view. And the first thing that you want to do is install version 2.2 from the asset store or the opsip store. And after you do that, it will extract this installer folder. This installer folder is completely independent of the ultimate character controller folder. This ultimate character controller folder has not changed at all. It's still version 2.1. And this installer will open up a new window that will check some basic requirements. You can see it checks for the install package, make sure that we're running Unity 2018.4 or newer. We're running .NET 4 and we have a clean install. Right now I'm failing two out of the four requirements. If for some reason this dialog doesn't pop up, you can get to it under the tools menu again. So let's go ahead and take care of some of these requirements and I first want to talk about the clean install option. Unity packages don't handle changes very well, so in order to have the best upgrade experience, you'll want to completely remove the ultimate character controller folder. Now, before you do this, make sure you do two things. Make sure you have a backup just in case anything goes wrong. And then also, if you're storing any of your own assets within the ultimate character controller folder, you'll want to move them out and then also just keep them in a separate folder. It just helps with organizations and updates and, and whatnot. So after you've done those two things, you can go ahead and delete the ultimate character controller folder. I'm not going to do that quite yet, but I wanted to talk about this .NET 4. You can change the .NET version, the scripting runtime version, under the player settings, and then you can just change it right here. Uh, right now it's at .NET 3.5, so I want to change it to .NET 4. Unity will require a restart and then it also will re-import all the assets. So I recommend that you first delete this ultimate character controller folder and then change the .NET version. That way when it re-imports assets, it, it's not re-importing some assets that you're, in, you're going to end up deleting anyway. So after that is done, and it will take some time, but after that's done, um, you'll end up with a structure that looks like this, where there's the installer, shared, and ultimate character controller folder. Now this is version 2.2. After everything successfully installed and you verify that everything looks good, you can go ahead and delete the installer folder, but it, it's not doing anything by being there uh, either. The, that installer dialog won't pop up anymore, although I guess there is a pretty large uh, Unity package in there. So just to save some space, you can go ahead and delete the installer folder. But this shared directory is the classes that are shared between the character controller and the inventory system right now. And ultimate character controller folder is version 2.2. So let's go ahead and hit play just to see what happens. I'm expecting some errors. And we got some errors. So the first thing that we'll want to change is we'll want to go to our item collection and we'll need to recreate any categories that we had created. I'm sorry to have to do this, but it was required in order to have better support with the new inventory system. So right now we only had one category, so I'm going to just have this one category and then I'm going to reassign the categories back to the item types. 
I'm also going to set the capacity for the item types. So we can have one pistol, we can have a whole bunch of bullets, and then we can have one assault rifle. So that was all that's required on the item types manager. So we can go ahead and close that. Now what we'll want to do is click on our character and just by clicking on the character it's going to solve a lot of these errors for us. Make sure when you click on your character you have the item set manager expanded. I'm scrolling down to try to find it. It's right here. Um, by having this expanded uh, there are some editor scripts that will run just to make sure all the categories are set appropriately and you can see here that this items category we created we have our pistol still so that transferred from version the prior release to version 2.2 so that looks good uh, the other thing that we'll want to check is the default loadout and we can see our two item types are still there with the correct amounts so that also looks good Another major portion that we'll want to check are the item abilities and we'll want to make sure the item set category is set to the new category that we created. Right now we only have one item ability of each type but if you have an item ability of that uses multiple categories so you have multiple item abilities of the same type you'll want to make sure this item set category is checked and this this gets selected to the very first category so because we only have one category that's why this ended up working out but just by making these changes now when I hit play we shouldn't get any more errors and our pickup looks good as well so so that aspect it, that worked well um, let's go ahead and just verify some other things just to make sure everything transferred correctly you'll want to do the same so on my item pickup, we can see I have this pistol pickup and then we have these item definition amounts and they're set to the item types, so, so that looks good. Um, just to kind of show you what changed this item definition amounts, I think that used to be item type counts um, as the old name. So now instead of using item types, we're using item definitions. Um, let's go back to our trooper, trooper character and some other things that you'll want to check are this pickup item ability. If I go, um, if I look at this pickup item definitions array, we'll see that it's set to size zero. I want to set it to size one and set the assault rifle back to it. And we can kind of reference our old scene as well just to make sure that that is what we had set. And if we scroll down to our old scene, we can see this pickup item. We have the pickup item types and we have the assault rifle set so so we're setting it correctly the other thing that you'll want to select is under the aim ability you'll want to make sure this append item checkbox is selected now that that field got renamed and so that's why the the selection didn't transfer but this will basically append the item definition name to the state name so right now the state name is aim and by having append item selected it will it will append the name of the item that's currently equipped so for example that will enable a state called aim pistol or aim assault rifle so that's an important one to make sure we have selected I think that's pretty much the only uh, ability that that is selected by default unless you changed it in your own scene the other couple of things that we'll want to check is if you're using the drop ability. Actually, the drop is an item ability. If you're using drop, you will want to make sure the no drop item definitions are are set by in the demo scene, the main demo scene, the item definition or that we have set is the body item type. So in this scene we don't have the body item type so that's why there's nothing here. The other thing is if you're using the VR add-on, this slot equip ability, the default item definitions and the state names, that got changed so you'll need to make sure you go ahead and reassign those. But I think that's pretty much it for the manual changes that are required. If you're doing your own scripting and working with the inventory there are some API updates and you'll want to make sure you go to the documentation 
which you can get to by clicking on this link. And that has the exact changes that are required for the API. And it actually has everything that I went through for this video. So yeah, that, that's a good link to reference as well, or a good documentation documentation page to reference in order to, to see what you should update. So that's pretty much it that's required in order to update version 2.2.